Well, hello, Shoreline Church. This is your devotional for Wednesday, July 15th. We're continuing through the Psalms. Uh, there's 150 Psalms, and we're on Psalm 136. Again, we don't read every one of them, but the ones that kind of fit where we're at. And what's unique about Psalm 136, and you'll hear it in the cadence when I read the passage, but also uh, you'll notice that uh, every single verse ends with the same four words. His love endures forever. That's the refrain that comes through. So listen to each line, and then just that declaration, his love endures forever. Psalm 136, and I'm going to first read verses 1 through 5. I'll make a few comments, then we'll read the end of the psalm. So Psalm 136, beginning of verse 1. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords. His love endures forever. To him who alone does great wonders, his love endures forever. Who by his understanding made the heavens. You know what's coming next. His love endures forever. Just a couple of comments, a couple of things for us to reflect on when we hear these words. First, this declaration, his love endures forever. Remember that that's the word for you and for me. His love for us endures forever. If we've come to God through faith in Jesus Christ, His love is ours. His love for us is unchanging. And the grace of Jesus gives us strength to follow Him. But when we struggle, His love endures forever. And I love in this passage where it talks about to Him alone who does great wonders, His love endures forever. What are the wonders God has done in your life? What are the wonderful things He's done how he has shown up in wonderful ways, how he's provided in wonderful ways, how he's brought into your life wonderful people. God is the God of wonders. Notice it. And when you see those wonders, just declare quietly in your own heart, his love endures forever. And then in verse five, who by his understanding made the heavens. God is the creator of all things, of pets, of sunrises and of sunsets, of the people you love the most, of the flavors and the foods that you enjoy. He made everything. Celebrate the God who loves you and whose love endures forever. And then verses 6 through 22, every one of those verses ends with the words, His love endures forever. But we're going to pick it up again at verse 23 at the end of the psalm. He remembered us in our low estate. His love endures forever. He freed us from our enemies. His love endures forever. He gives food to every creature. His love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of heaven. His love endures forever. I love this, this word in verse 23. He remembered us in our low estate, in your lowest moment, in your place of deepest sin, of deepest sadness, of the worst loneliness you've ever experienced. His love endures forever. If you're feeling isolated, pulled away from people, we just got word that now we're kind of pulling back in the state of California again and, and kind of things are more cautious again right now and people are feeling, oh boy, face masks and separation, all the challenges. But in the midst of all of that, no matter how low you might feel, remember His love endures forever. And then in verse 24, He freed us from our enemies. Whatever enemy you have faced, God has the power to set you free. He's either freed you or he wants to free you if you look to him for his power. And then finally, this is just this beautiful picture in verse 25. He gives food to every creature, to every animal that, that's on this planet, every, one of the, every, every part of his creation. He provides that simple, that simple reminder that God provides for all that he's made. His love endures forever. God, our prayer today is that we would feel the presence and the power of your love, that love that endures forever. In our lowest moments, in our highest moments, your love doesn't change. Lord, let us be so convinced that your love endures forever, so filled with that love, that that love would overflow from us to every person we meet. We pray this for the glory of Jesus. Amen. Well, I want to invite you to join us for worship this Sunday, and I want to invite you to invite others to join us at Shoreline Church for worship. So you can join us online at 8.30, 10 o'clock, and 11.30. 
and we're kicking off a new series in the book of Hebrews. Read, read the first couple chapters of Hebrews and it'll prepare you for an amazing uh, Sunday of worship and praise. And then also we have two services on campus in the Courtyard Outdoor Services. Registration is open and so go online and register at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock. Again, kicking off a series on the book of Hebrews. I'm excited to preach the word online and on campus, and hopefully I'll see you in one of those places. God bless you, and have a great day.